Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new product from Netgear. This is the Netgear R6200. It's a wireless router and it features support for the newest wireless standard, 802.11ac. Now 802.11ac gives you more bandwidth, specifically on the 5 gigahertz band. So this has two wireless radios. The uh, 2.4 gigahertz band will give you 300 megabits per second theoretical throughput. And the 5 gigahertz band on the 802.11ac standard will give you 867 megabits per second theoretical throughput, giving you, if you add the two together, 1200 speed. Now bear in mind, you cannot connect to both of those at the same team. So this is a, a bit of a marketing um, I don't know, addition perhaps, but uh, bear that in mind. But you can connect to either one, and especially when you're connecting on the five gigahertz band, that's typically a less crowded uh, bandwidth. So uh, it's great for streaming videos and that sort of thing. I wanted to go over some of the features down here on the lower left. So we have uh, Netgear Genie, which is their software they've integrated. They have applications available on the App Store uh, for Google Play as well as for Mac and for iOS. So if you're using a smartphone or a tablet, you can connect to that and access your data and as well as other functions. Down here we have sort of a list of uh, features. So the Genie apps that were just mentioned, secure connection, easy installation, ready share USB access, simultaneous dual band, which means that the router will broadcast on both bands at the same time and you can choose which one you want to connect to. They also have a gigabit uh, uh, a gigabit Ethernet switch, pardon me. Uh, also, email, chats, uh, surf, music, and video. Online gaming, HD streaming, multiple HD streaming. So, some of the uh, things that you might do with this router that are, it would, it would be very well used for. Uh, some more information here on the side. We have ReadyShare printer or ReadyShare USB storage access. So, the USB port can be used to connect a network printer. You can also use it to connect uh, an external hard drive, for example, to set up some network attached storage. Uh, here you can use the wire connection to connect de desktops, PCs, or anything with your standard RJ45 Ethernet jack. Uh, you also have, of course, your uh, WAN port, and that's, I'm sorry, your, your LAN port to connect to the wide area network. That's where you're going to connect to your modem that's typically provided by your internet service provider. Power on, off, and power button. Uh, we're going to go over, of course, the device once we get it into it in detail. And here's just a quick look at the back of the box if you guys want to read off some more details on those specifications. Let's take a look inside the box and see what all comes with. Here we have the router itself, of course, and we'll finish off with a close-up view of that. We also have a Netgear Dual Band 11AC Wi-Fi Router Installation Guide. And uh, I may as well give this a quick open and see what all they have included. So here's, uh, this is a uh, Netgear information. If you want to buy some other Netgear products, they're listed in there. We also have uh, GNU public license as well as, I believe, warranty information included in here. So that's, that's useful to read. Uh, we also have some information here. To get the best experience, we recommend that you update your product with the latest firmware version. Now, firmware is sort of some software that resides in the uh, hardware itself, and you can connect using uh, these instructions here to update that firmware, which can often provide enhanced compatibility and sometimes can fix bugs if they exist. Uh, here's some information on the apps that we mentioned before, so available on the App Store for um, Apple devices as well as the uh, Android Market or Google Play Store for Android devices. Turn your TV into a smart TV. Uh, Built-in Wi-Fi, HD 1080 streaming. This is a DLNA compatible device. So again, if you do want to use this to stream uh, HD video, it is a great device to do that with. Uh, free songs available. You also have the installation guide here. So uh, this will walk you through it. One cool thing about this one is there's no CD required. So you have really basic setup. It will guide you through the steps for connecting it, it's got a chart there telling you what to connect to what to get everything up and running. So very simple, straightforward installation instructions from Netgear. Also, of course, you have an AC adapter so you can power the device from a wall plug or more ideally a power strip with a, with a built-in, uh, what do you call those things? A fuse. One of those things that protects you from surges. Uh, and, then, and then also, of course, you have an included RJ45 cable here for an Ethernet connectivity, so you can connect this to your existing home network or your router. Look, they've even put little labels on it. Plug that into your modem. Plug that into your router.
Now we're taking a closer look at the R6200 unit itself, and there's uh, some protective covering on here. But also I'd like to point out, they give you uh, an SSID that's a unique SSID, and of course you can change that uh, by going into the device settings directly. But they've also given you a unique network key. Now one of the security issues that's come up with routers in the past is a lot of them will have default uh, SSIDs and password, which makes it that much easier to break into the network if, for example, you have not set up your wireless password and everything correctly. Let me just peel this off so we can see how shiny the device is. But I do like that Netgear has provided uh, actual unique IDs with that. You should go and change it after you have the device set up anyway, but that does provide at least a little bit more protection against potential network invasion. Now here looking at the device itself, you'll notice that this is a stand-up uh, router, and that is actually a good feature. It's got a built-in stand right there. Routers do tend to heat up sometimes. You can see there's plenty of ventilation all along the sides and the back, so that's going to help keep the device nice and cool. You're probably going to tuck this away somewhere, but uh, keeping it set up like that is going to provide just a little bit more airflow, and uh, it also looks pretty nice too, so who knows, if you want to integrate this into your home theater system, it should fit right in. Now on the side here, we have a couple quick access buttons, a Wi-Fi on off button, and that's just a really handy feature to have. Push the button, turn the Wi-Fi off, turn the Wi-Fi back on. You don't need to actually go into uh, through a browser or through the software to access that. You also have Wi-Fi protected setup, and if you have any issues getting your uh, Wi-Fi, your router uh, connected and up and running, you can use that with compatible devices to more easily set up your router and your home network. Now we have a Netgear logo right here, which is probably fairly difficult to see because it's it's going to light up when the device is actually on. Then down here we also have some difficult to see uh, logos without the device turned on, but you have a power indicator light right there, an internet connection indicator light, a Wi-Fi indicator light that will tell you if the Wi-Fi is on or off, and then a USB indicator light that will tell you if your USB device is connected and being detected by the router. Here at the back, we have the rest of the connector ports. We have, of course, the USB port. As previously mentioned, you can connect either a printer or an external uh, USB hard drive to that, so you can set up for NAS or network printing capabilities. There's your four-port built-in gigabit Ethernet hub. You also have, of course, your Internet port to connect to your wide area network. You have a reset button right there that's recessed, uh, so you can use a pin, for example, to reset the device to factory defaults. You also have a power button that indicates what is on and what is the off setting, so uh, you can easily turn the device on and off. If you do need to uh, reset the router, which can happen occasionally, makes it a little bit easier than actually just unplugging it. And then finally, of course, your DC input at the very end there for your AC to DC adapter. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Netgear R6200 802.11ac wireless router. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.